Hello and welcome to my channel Study with Pradipto. Today I will solve week 5 assignment 5 questions of the course EV Vehicle Dynamics and Electric Motor Drives. Please subscribe my channel. I will provide all the assignment answers of this course and the answers will be 100% correct. So the first question is the plot of the average output voltage with respect to the duty ratio for the 4 quadrant chopper is given as. So the first option. Uh, will be the answer of question number one now second question in bipolar modulation technique we have two polarity of output voltage and we have two levels of output voltage so B and C will be our answers of question number two now for question number three if for unipolar modulation technique we generate the reference signal as V reference is equal to uh, v reference P is equal to V reference and V reference Q is equal to minus V reference then the voltage produced at individual leg is bipolar and unipolar. Now question number 4 the torque ripple in a separately excited DC motor drive is proportional to current ripple in armature inductor. Now question number 5 the problems associated with operations of an open loop systems are parameter variation, noise and dynamic performance so ABC. Now question for question number 6, for the transfer function given below, G is given, K 1 plus is by omega Z and 1 plus is by omega P. Now the expression for magnitude plot is 20 log K plus 20 log root over 1 plus omega square by omega Z square minus 20 log 1 plus omega square by omega P square. Option A. Now for question number 7, the condition for pole zero cancellation of open loop transfer function is given as. Uh, so this transfer function is given now uh, option c and option d are the answer of question number seven now state whether true or false symmetric optimum method ensures that the gap between the zero and the bandwidth frequency is same as the bandwidth frequency and pole resulting in the base phase margin so it will be true now for question number nine saturation limits on current controller are given because Option A will be the answer. The reference signal should be maintained within the limit of the carrier signal. Now for question number 10. The criteria that we use to identify the values of KP and KI, the speed for the controller are ABC will be the answer of question number 10. So if you get some help from this video, then subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching the video. We'll see you in the next video.